Welcome to our lecture online. Now that you have seen the synthetic division method, you must agree it's pretty slick, it's pretty nice. But why does it work? How does it work? Why can we use it? So here we're going to show you how the synthetic division method works. So we're going to start with the long division and then derive from that the synthetic division method. So here we have an example again. We have a numerator divided by x minus 2 and we're going to use long division to get the answer. So first we say to ourselves, we write x minus 2 over there, we say what expression here times x gives us 3x cubed, and the answer would be 2x squared. 2x squared times x gives us, oh, not 2x squared, 3x squared times x gives us 3x cubed, and 3x squared times a negative 2 gives us a negative 6, x squared and then we subtract these two terms from the two directly above it so 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0 a minus times a minus becomes a plus minus 8 plus 6 gives us a minus 2x squared and then we drop down the next term plus 8x again we ask ourselves the question what times x gives us a minus 2x squared that would be minus 2x minus 2x times x gives us a minus 2x squared and a minus 2x times a negative 2 gives us a plus 4x and again we subtract these two terms from the two directly above this minus this gives us 0 and 8 minus 4 gives us a positive plus 4x so then we drop down the next and the last term negative 3 and again we ask ourselves the question what times x gives us 4x the answer would be plus 4 so plus 4 times x gives us a plus 4x, and a plus 4 times a negative 2 gives us a negative 8. Then we subtract these, we get 4x minus 4x is 0, 3 minus a minus 8, that would be a plus 8, would be a plus 5. In this case, notice we have a remainder, which means the result of that, that this divided by this is actually equal to, the answer is up here, it is equal to 3x squared, minus 2x plus 4 and now we have a remainder of plus 5 divided by the divisor x minus 2 and that here is then the result of dividing 3x cubed minus 8x squared plus 8x minus 3 with by x minus 2 so notice we have the uh, this is what they call the quotient and plus the, the, the uh, remainder 5 over the divisor x minus 2 so now we're going to show you how synthetic division works by first doing the exact same thing. We'll call that step number three. Same thing, but instead of using x's in there, we're only going to show the numerical coefficients. So we end up with 1 minus 2, and that we're going to divide that into 3 minus 8, a positive 8, and a minus 3. So look, it looks exactly the same except we don't have any of the x's in there. All right, we do the same thing now. What times this gives us 3? The answer is 3. 3 times 1 gives us 3, and 3 times negative 2 gives us a negative 6, and then we subtract these from there, and we end up with 3 minus 3, which is 0, and minus times a minus is plus 6, subtracted from or added to minus 8, which gives us a minus 2. So then we drop the next term, which is 8, what times 1 gives us a negative 2? The answer is negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. We subtract, and we end up with 0, 8 minus 4, which is plus 4. Then we drop the last term down, that's a minus 3. What times 1 gives us 4? The answer is plus 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8. Again, we subtract, we end up with 0, and minus times a minus is plus, so plus 5. And that means that the result is we have 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, and then the remainder plus 5 divided by x minus 2. So we get the very same result, very same process as before. But now we have to notice something. The number 3 here is the same as the number 3 over there. The number minus 2 here is the same as the number minus 2 over here. And 
The number four here is the same as the number four over here. And finally, the number five here is the same as a remainder, the number five over there. All right. So how do we get those numbers using synthetic division? Well, that's going to be our next step. So first, what we're going to do is step number four. We're going to write the same numbers again. We're going to write the numbers three. And here, we're only going to write the number negative two. So we skip the number one, we write all the other numbers down, and now we're going to use the synthetic division method with one difference, is that this is not the root, but the actual number of the denominator minus two. Remember, the root of that would be positive two, but we're going to use the negative two. Again, we're going to draw the line. We're going to drop the first number down, three, which is the same as the number three over there. So let's go ahead and circle that. So we got our first number, number three, simply by dropping this down. Now we're going to multiply the negative 2 times 3, that gives us a negative 6, knowing that's a negative 6 over here. And then if we subtract from that, we subtract this, minus 8, negative 8, minus a minus 6 gives us a negative 2. And notice, that's the negative 2 that we want over there. Like that. Then we... Drop, then we have the next one, so we have negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these parentheses now, because we're going to subtract these numbers. Notice we got the number 4 right there. 8 minus 4 is a positive 4, which is the number that I got right there. And finally, we multiply negative 2 times 4 to get negative 8 but we're subtracting negative 8 from negative 3, which gives us a positive 5. And that's the last number, the remainder, right here, that I obtained over here. So notice, by, using, by doing this technique, we get the very same numbers, which then define the answers. We have the 3 that define the 3x squared, we have the negative 2, and we have the positive 4, and we have the remainder 5. And so we get that from here, exactly the same. The result is we get 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 plus the remainder of 5 divided by x minus 2. However, synthetic division doesn't put the number negative 2 there. It puts the root there. And the reason why we put the root there is because we want to add these numbers instead of subtract numbers because adding is easier than subtracting. So finally, for step number 5, we end up with 3 and we're going to put the positive there. This is the root from x minus 2 equals 0, which means x equals 2. Instead of negative, we're going to add all the numbers we're getting. Again, we draw the line. We drop the first number down, 3. 2 times 3 is 6. We add the 2 together instead of subtract. Minus 8 plus 6 is a minus 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. We add the 2 together, we get 4. 2 times 4 is 8. We add the 2 together, we get a positive 5. And again, notice, we get the very same result, a positive 3, a negative 2, a positive 4, and the remainder, 5, which means that if we divide 3x cubed minus 8x squared plus 8x minus 3 divided by x minus 2, using synthetic division, we end up with 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 plus 5 over x minus 2. And that's how we derived the, the synthetic division method by using the very same numbers without the x, but the only difference is that we, instead of subtracting, we add by putting the root there instead of the number minus 2. And that is how it's done.